Welcome in. We're back to a familiar place, checking wood duck boxes. We're going to slowly make our way around to the different properties, check the boxes. It's April 4th. Going to see if we have any nesting activity. Down here at the rice swamp, and I just jumped a drake wood duck out. He hopped the dam and went into the lower beaver swamp where I have another wood duck box. So that's encouraging. we got a couple birds hanging around. Let's go check these boxes. I don't think bumping this hen out of here one time will be a problem. I'm just trying to confirm once they start nesting so I can hang a trail camera and catch some activity. Checking our first box here. Oh man, we've got nesting activity. This is awesome. Sure enough, we've got a lot of down feathers in here. No eggs, but she has found the box. I can actually smell her, it's pretty cool. First box we checked, already got a nesting hen in it. We'll close that back up. Now that I know a bird is using this box, we will not mess with her again, and we'll hang a camera on that stump right there. Box number two. This was the last one we put up. Let's see if anybody's home. Let's see if we got any activity in here. Nope, no nesting activity in this one. No wood ducks in the second box, but there's a drake swimming around in here. So that's encouraging. Two boxes down, let's check this third one. Oh. Looks like she started to print down in there, but no nesting material and no feathers. But there is definitely a print in there. Box number four, let's go check it out. Dragonfly, false alarm there, I thought it was a wasp. There are clearly nail marks, there you go, nail marks on the edge of this flashing. Like something may have already tried to come up here. Shadow's kind of messing me up, there you go, you can see them. So I'm curious if something's already trying to climb this predator guard. Box number four. Oh yeah, we got more nesting material and down feathers. But this one, we have eggs. This is incredible. Let me put you back in here, sweetheart. We are full of eggs. This is incredible. Tuck them back in here. And I am done messing with these boxes. Don't beat me up in the comments too bad. So we're gonna put her back. And I hope my smell doesn't mess with her, but we are done messing with these boxes, I promise. Now that I know there's eggs in this one, I'm gonna go ahead and hang a camera on this tree right here, and try to get some of that activity. I'm gonna be a dad, again. This is pretty cool, man. When you see the work, effort, time put into this, and you come out here and check boxes, and you've got two of your four being used, probably eggs in the other one. I didn't actually reach my hand down in there, but confirm there are eggs in this box out here. So this is really exciting. Two of the four boxes we've checked have active nesting in it. Box number five, out here at the farm millet pond, if you follow the series, this is the last box we're checking. Let's see if anybody's using it. The pond has come up very nicely with all the rain we've been having. If you recall earlier in the series, we had a water problem here, but I've spoke with the landowner and we are going to drain this again next year, hopefully plant it in rice, and we're gonna install a pipe up here to help direct more water in here. So that's pretty exciting. See if anybody's home. I already see some down feathers in that crack. Don't freak out, girl. Hope you're not in here. No duck in the box, but we got feathers. Please be some eggs in here. Oh yeah. We got eggs, buddy. You wanna come see them? Yeah. As always, I got my buddy. We're teaching him about habitat management and conservation. But this is cool. They are using the box. We've got eggs. I'm going to show him these eggs real quick, and we're going to close it back up. What are you doing up there? I don't know. Cash, grass, or snacks. Nobody rides for free. I did not bring his waders, so I'm going to show this little boy how hard work pays off. we got eggs in the box. I see minnows. Yep, there's a lot of gambusia, aren't they? They're mosquito fish, but yeah, they look like minnows. A bunch of them, look at them all. So this will be the only time we mess with them is to confirm they are in here. 
But Hudson, can you hold that up with one hand? And then if you look in here, you see the eggs? See them? Yeah. Look at that. It's so warm, gentle. Do not drop it. Is it warm? Yeah. Yeah, gentle, gentle, gentle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven that I can feel. All right, let's tuck it back in. We got eleven ducks, buddy. Well, this is exciting. We got wood ducks on the millet pond. That pretty cool? Yeah. We got real ducks, don't we? Mm -hmm. Real eggs, rather. They should turn into ducks. That's going to wrap this one up. That's awesome. We're excited to see that. Three of our five boxes we know have eggs in them. A fourth box was starting to be used. And there's at least 10 to 12 eggs in those three boxes, which is really cool to see. So hard work, effort, energy, we source the wood, build the boxes, and install the boxes. But now that we know we're producing an extra three dozen ducks that may have otherwise may have not produced, never know, it's pretty cool. And it's a great opportunity to teach him about them. A little bit of conservation, give them back. Until next time, as always, thank you and God bless.